now it's time to cover the tricks and treats on Royal Caribbean. That's right. So starting with the Royal Caribbean trick number one, challenge yourself at Playmakers Bar with the Playmakers Challenge. That's eating 100 hot wings to win a t-shirt. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm suggesting you do it. I don't know if I'd do it, but hey, if you want to win a t-shirt, go for it. What's the next Royal Caribbean trick? So if you want to avoid waiting at the elevators for a spot to go onto the elevators, mm -hmm. take the stairs. If it's if you're only going down one flight of stairs, take the stairs. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Royal Caribbean trick number whatever three. Three. For a peaceful experience, skip the main pool and head to the adults-only solarium. Much so nice. quieter, more nice. relaxing environment there. What's the next Royal Caribbean trick? So, if you go to one of the shows on Royal Caribbean, they, the and your, the show is done, and you need to go to the ladies' or gentlemen's room, this go, is getting really past, personal. go past uh -huh. the first set of bathrooms, because they're always busy, go to the second set, and you'll be able to get in that much faster. Sounds like a personal experience. <laughs> Good advice, though. Next Royal Caribbean trick is for a VIP experience. Consider purchasing the key. We really enjoyed it. It gave us, uh, we gave us a, a very delicious lunch when we boarded, a special breakfast on the last day, and Loom Internet. Uh, a lot of different features in the the key program. Uh, we've got it linked down below if you want to check out our full review and all the details of what the key features uh, linked in the description down below. What's the next Royal Caribbean trick? Oh, so this is another food challenge for those of you who like mm. food challenges. You don't win a fancy t-shirt, but <laughs> okay. you know that you you get a touchdown uh, Sunday cup. Oh, okay. So, so go well, ahead. Well, tell them what you can tell them what it is. You're talking about a football helmet, collectible football right. helmet. And it's five scoops of Ben and Jerry's mm -hmm. ice cream. And you get to choose, and you can choose what toppings you want on mm -hmm. it. And then if you you can either share it mm -hmm. or you can get your own and eat it yourself. There you go. And have it as a memory. And, and, so you could do a contest if you're going to do it. with If you're going to both get one, see who eats it faster. Okay. <laughs> that's there's a lot of information there so uh, i i i think that sounds a little more enjoyable and a little easier than eating 100 hot wings um and, and i have a feeling even if you don't finish the ice cream you could probably keep the little uh little plastic football helmet thing that's but hey sugar rush Uh, okay, so next Royal Caribbean trick is to seek out the stowaway piano player. Not on every ship, not all the time, but every once in a while, if you hear the sound of piano piano music playing, might even be on an elevator, find them. It's a lot of fun, or so we hear. <laughs> but we couldn't find them on our Royal Caribbean cruise, no, but you, 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 we've heard many a tale and seen some random videos and photos of a stowaway piano player. Uh, reserve popular activities like the Flow Rider before you are on board, uh, and as soon as possible, because all the spots can get reserved up. And when you're on board, it might be too late to get a spot. Let's move on to Royal Caribbean treats. You want to go first? Yes. Go ahead. What's your first Royal Caribbean treat? Go to the Bamboo Room mm. and get ahi tuna. Ooh. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, and those little wonton bowls with the edamame. Oh, yeah, that was delicious. They're good. Yep, and my first well Caribbean treat, you know I love the steaks. So I got to mention Chops Grill and the delicious ribeye. I was very happy with that. They did a great job. Speaking of steaks, that's one of my also treats is if you purchase the key, you can get a perfect size filet mignon. It's not too big, not too small. Mm -hmm. It's just right, and it's delicious. It's my first time I had filet mignon. I always thought it was a fish, but it's okay. not. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> well, we uh, call it the fillet. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. I <laughs> want to get 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 bogged down on the, the fillet thing again. Royal Caribbean. Uh, next treat for Royal Caribbean is to head to the doghouse. Get yourself a complimentary hot dog from the doghouse. I really enjoyed the Big Apple. It is a hot dog sausage, whatever you want to call it, uh, made of chicken and apple. A chicken and apple hot dog, the Big Apple at the, wow. at the dog house. I'll have a Chicago dog, please. Okay, well, we're not there right now, <laughs> but go ahead. What's your next treat? My next treat is Jamie's Italian Food. Get the meat plank. Mm. It is it is like a huge appetizer. It's so good. Yeah. It has like meat and cheese and olives. Yeah, all and they, on one they, big plank. They adjust they, they have various sizes of the planks that they, they serve based on the number of people in your party. So that was that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um you mentioned the bamboo room before. I'll mention the bamboo room again because I know you like the the ahi tuna, but I really enjoyed the Hawaiian barbecue. Uh, pulled pork sliders. Those oh, were those are... awesome. Yes. And they're so cute. They're so tiny. Well, they're yeah. so cute. That's how sliders work, man. <laughs> Do you have another treat? Um, pizza. <laughs> pizza. Pizza on the promenade. Yes. There's a place that's right, that's pretty almost kitty corner from Playmaker. Playmakers. Well, it depends on the ship. So sometimes it's Sorrento, sometimes it's the Promenade Cafe. But yeah, get the pizza. The pizza's really good. Just grab yeah. and go. Uh, it's included in the price of your fare. So awesome. And I think it's open most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. Except for when you're asleep. <laughs> Wait. Then. Next treat Royal Caribbean specialty dining option Azumi Sushi and Hibachi. This is one that I'm going to recommend, even though we haven't personally tried it, like unlike the other stuff we're talking about, because it was re recommended to us by a reliable source who's been on a lot of Royal Caribbean cruises, and she says Azumi Sushi and Hibachi is the way to go. So mm -hmm. looking forward to trying that on our next cruise, and we'll recommend it just based on uh, uh, Nisha's recommendation. Thanks, Nisha. Big finish here. Royal Caribbean treat at the Windjammer, complimentary food, right? It's a buffet. Oh, yeah. Windjammer breakfast. Oh, One yeah. word. Bacon. <laughs> bacon. So if you enjoyed those Royal Caribbean tricks and treats, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a way to ensure you don't miss out on our future cruise videos. And it helps our videos. <laughs> and, our, and our channel especially. That's what I meant. It helps our channel. Yes, so we appreciate it.